Yo, this is Kai and welcome to the new flare tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach the flare with another method. Because I still receive a lot of questions about the flare, many people are struggling with it, and it seems like the regular method to learn the flare doesn't apply to everyone, because some people are struggling since years and they cannot learn the flare. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna try to break down the flare in another way. If you are stuck, in the flare since very long time try this method. The only requirement to be able to learn the flare in this way is to be able to hold an L seat and some L seat variations for at least 5 to 10 seconds. If you can hold them longer it's even better. So this is an alternative way to learn flares. Usually in all the tutorials that I make I always start from here from this position but this time we're gonna start and we are gonna evolve the flare in a different way. We're gonna start from here. We're gonna try it on both sides a little bit because I think it's gonna be very useful to understand how the movement works. If you wanna start spinning clockwise in this direction, so towards the right side, you start with the right knee on the floor and the left leg like this. Kinda like an Egyptian shape, but you can even stay lower like this. And lean the right hand flat on the floor towards the right side. From this position, you wanna slide this leg out and you wanna arrive in this position here. And from here, you wanna slide the left leg in and go back like this. And you arrive in the opposite position on the other side, like this. I'm gonna show it again, very, very slowly. So from here, slide like this. You should really slide, especially this part of the leg and also the foot, don't stay like this, but slide with this part of the leg and the foot on the floor, slide, and I'll ride it like this, in this position. And from here, lean this leg in this position, so you're ready to slide, and slide back. And then do it on the other side. So slide, arrive here, and slide back. Slide, arrive here, and slide back. Slide, here, slide back. This is the first step, it's pretty easy, right? Make sure to wear something slippery and maybe even a little bit soft if possible. You can put something on your knees, on your shoes to make it softer and smoother. Second step, we're gonna do the same thing but adding a small jump. From here, you wanna slide until this position here. From here, lean the other hand on the floor. So you stay like this. And then from here, you wanna jump from this leg to the other leg like this. Again, slide, lean the hand on the floor and jump. And then you go back like this. This time a little bit faster, slide, jump and go back like this. On the other side, same thing. So slide, lean the hand on the floor, jump and go back. Slide, 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 jump and go back. Also, this step is pretty easy, right? If you don't understand how it works, practice very, very slowly and make it faster only when you are able to do it very slow. When you are able to do it really fast and smooth on both sides, go ahead with the third step. Third step, same thing, but we're gonna add a small rotation this time. In the previous steps, the slide was kind of like forward, right? So we used to slide like this. This time we want to slide more in a circle, so like this. We want to cross the legs, kind of like here. We are not going to slide inside, but we are going to slide out. This foot here is going to go out. It's not going to slide in like this, but it's going to slide out. So it's going to be not like this, but like this. And we're going to do the same thing as before. So we're going to slide and directly from here jump and lean this leg on the floor and go back here. From here, same thing, slide, jump, and lean this leg on the floor and go back. Start in the same way, slide and immediately jump. And then you should land on the foot that is sliding. Same as before, before because before we used to slide in and land on this foot. Now, same thing, but we're gonna slide out, so like this. And on the other side, same thing. A little bit slower. Okay. 
This step here should be a little bit fast. If you do it very slow, you should rely on the strength of the abs because you should lift up yourself kind of like this. But if you do it fast, it's very easy. To do it, make sure you can do the previous step correctly and fast. If you cannot do the previous step fast, this one would be harder. Now, last step to do one round of flare. We're gonna do the same thing as before, but we're gonna add a very small detail. So, in the previous step, the right leg was going out here. So not in, but out. Then we was jumping, and then this leg was going in, like this. Now, instead, this leg also want to go out. While you jump, this leg want to go out and you catch this leg on the floor after this leg is fast, you know? So you should be careful to not arrive here because you're gonna block it and you are gonna arrive in a hook, but you have to be fast for this one. While this leg is still in the air, this one is gonna go inside and then you catch with this leg and you arrive here. Make sure you can do the previous step pretty fast because you really need momentum for this one and if you don't have momentum, you should rely on your strength. Now I'm gonna show it very slowly and I'm gonna rely on my strength. To rely on your strength, you should be able to, do, to hold this position here. If you're not able to hold this position here, you cannot rely on your strength, but you need to have momentum. So very slowly, it should look like this. This leg goes out, you jump, then this leg goes inside and then you catch and you end up in this position here. On the opposite side, you go out, you jump, this leg goes in, you catch and you end up here. Now I'm gonna do it with the momentum. And actually, this is the first round of flare. To make it better, just master it like this first. Once you can do it, just try to keep your legs more straight and wide. So once you can do it, try the same thing, but this time, maybe open your legs a bit more, kind of like this. Don't stay too small, don't stay like this, but try to stay a little wider, maybe like this, and try to make the movement way bigger and way wider. Maybe kind of like this at first, And then maybe even more. So you can start with the knee off the floor, like this. And really try to make the movement very big. When you wanna make the movement very big, also use your hips. To use your hips, all you need to do is to push it out all the time. Try to push it as far as possible to the middle, to the center, from where your arms are. So push it away, push your hips away all the time. I'm gonna show the steps one more time, one by one. One. Two. Three. and four. Once you can do one very clean round, to learn multiple rounds is very easy in my opinion. You can cheat at the beginning, so you can start in the same position and from here try to arrive in this position here. So kind of like the arriving position here, but with this leg up in the air. From here, Lean the right hand on the floor if you spin clockwise and try to do one more round of flare. If you cannot do it, only try to push and slide like this. So again, slowly. Here, lean this hand on the front and go here. One more time. Maybe you can stop on the side, but with time try to make it smoother. And maybe wear something soft on your knee and something slippery. Now let's try to make it a little faster. And then try to commit for the second round. After the second round, you can end up in the same position here and you can keep going with more rounds. I'm gonna show you an example. At first, maybe it will look something like this.
After some times, it should look smoother. Once you can do it like this, try to make it wider and bigger with time and with practice. From this point on, the only thing is to practice and practice. If you have hard times doing the second round, try to start from here. So if you spin clockwise, right leg like this, and you stay on the left knee. From here, you wanna go backwards. So you lean the right hand on the floor, you kick it backwards like this, almost kinda like doing a reverse one step or a reverse helicopter. The reverse helicopter is this move here. Almost the same movement. So from here, you kick this leg kinda like a helicopter and you enter the round and you try to arrive here. Then try to hop and arrive here. And then with this leg, you go like this. And try to repeat it over and over. So from here, again, one step, jump. And I'm right here, and come back. One step, jump, and go back. One step, jump, and go back. And with time, try to complete the second round and try to give more power, like this. I really hope this tutorial was useful for you and see you next week with new videos. Yo ninjas!